For today's video, we'll be calculating the formal charge. So to calculate this, um, it is there's a formula which is formal charge F C equals uh, number of valence electrons. Sure. Okay. Minus half. of bond so this is the bond bond line bond line and minus the non-bond non-bonding electrons so so lone pairs the lone pairs okay lone pairs and this is a uh, line so if we have a problem, nitrogen here, hydrogen, 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 and then hydrogen. And the question was, how do we calculate the formal charge for nitrogen in this problem? All we do is just look up uh, the valence electron for nitrogen, which is in which is five, minus bond line, how much is connected to. So we have one, two, three, four. So four lines. So four bonds is eight electrons, right? But we have to write the half for it. So half of eight. Okay. So eight times eight times eight. Uh, no, one half times eight minus the non-bonding. So all the lone pairs on nitrogen. There is no lone pairs connected to, so it will be zero. So bring these down. It would be um, four. So half of eight is four. So five minus four equals one. Positive one, positive. So then nitrogen has a positive charge. Okay. If we have something like this, let's get into deep, deep more detail. And nitrogen is connected to two hydrogens. And to calculate the former charge for this, right, the valence electron for, nitro, uh, for nitrogen was 5 minus 1 half times bond lines. How many bonds connected to? So it's 1, 2. So 2 bonds is 4 electrons minus the lone pairs. So we have two, 2 lone pairs, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So this would be half of 4 is 2. So then left to right, it's 3 minus 4, which gives us negative 1. So it's a negative charge. This nitrogen has a negative charge. Let's try some more. If we have aluminum. Four hydrogens here. And to calculate the formal charge for this, we know aluminum has a valence electron of three minus how many bonds it has? One, two, three, four. Four bonds is eight electrons, so half, one half of eight minus how many lone pairs? Zero. It has zero lone pairs, so we just put zero. So half of eight is four, and it's negative one. So aluminum has a negative charge here. All right, okay. Let's get to a little more uh, difficult challenging problem. We have an oxygen here. We have a lone pair connected to carbon and hydrogen. Okay. So we can do two things. Uh, we can calculate the formal charge for oxygen separately and the formal charge for carbon here separately. So let's start with oxygen. Oxygen has a valence electron of six. So one half minus one half of how many bonds is connected to is one, two, three. So three is six. So that's six lines, right? Six minus the lone pairs gets one lone pair, so one, two, two electrons, right? Electrons. Half of six is three. Six minus three is three, minus two equals one. So oxygen here has a plus 
a positive charge here. Let's calculate the formal charge of this carbon over here. So carbon has a valence electron of four. It's connected to one, two, three, four, four bonds. So that is eight electrons. Minus how many lone pairs? Has zero lone pairs. So four minus half of eight is four equals zero. So zero. Zero means neutral. So carbon is neutral in this case. Start some more. We have carbon here. So to calculate the formal charge of carbon here, we know carbon has a has four valence electrons minus half, and it's connected to one, two, three, three bonds. So that's six electrons, right? So one bond equals two electrons minus. Well, one lone pair, so one, two, two electrons. One lone pair means two electrons. So half of six is three. Four minus three is one. Left with minus two. This gives us a negative one. And so carbon over here has a negative charge. Let's try another one. Let's try some with uh, bond line structures. So here we have nitrogen. To calculate the formal charge of nitrogen here, uh, we know that nitrogen has a has five valence electrons minus half of that. Half of how many bonds is connected to? Lines. So one, two, so two is four. And lone pairs, one, so it's two lone pairs, so that's four electrons, so minus four. Half of four is two. Five minus two is three. Minus four equals negative one. So nitrogen has a negative charge over here. Okay. Just some more. So to calculate the formal charge for oxygen here. Oxygen has a six valence electron and it's bonded to one, two, three, three bonds, so three lines, which is six electrons minus to one lone pair, so that's two electrons. So half of six is three. Six minus three is three, minus two equals one. So uh, oxygen has a plus charge here. Has a plus charge here. Let's do another one. So if you have a cyclopentane here. Nitrogen has. If we were to calculate the formal charge of this, we would know nitrogen has five valence electrons. Actually, let me write it here. Okay. So nitrogen has five valence electrons. Minus one, two, two bonds, so that's four electrons. 
minus two lone pairs, which is four electrons as well. So half of four is two. So five minus two is three. Minus four is negative one. So we know that nitrogen here has a negative charge. Negative charge. Let's do one more example. If we have a cyclohexane, so hexane means six, well, cyclo means a structure like this, a shape. So to calculate the formal charge of this carbon over here, you know, carbon has four valence electrons. And it's bonded to one, two, but it also has, um, you know, hydrogen over here sticking out. That's one, two, three, four, four. No, actually, no, it has that. Never mind, that it only has one hydrogen. Actually, it does have actually four hydrogen here. It's not showing, but it's there. So it's eight minus two lone pairs. So half of that is four minus two. Zero minus two equals a negative two. So we know carbon over here has a negative charge.